Welcome to the Word of the Week. And this week we actually have two words because they're very closely related. In fact, they're direct opposites of each other. So our two words are conjunct and disjunct. Now, conjunct is when the notes of a melody are close together. So the notes will be what we would call next door notes, right next to each other on a keyboard or very close to each other on a guitar or something like that. Whereas a disjunct melody are when the notes are far apart from each other. And we could say that the notes are leaping um, through great distances. So the two notes wouldn't be near each other on a keyboard and they wouldn't be near each other on a guitar without having to change string. So they're called disjunct uh, melodies when there's a large leap. To demonstrate this, we've got an extract here from Rihanna's Love the Way You Lie, part two, which has a melody that goes from being conjunct to disjunct. So for example, in this first section here, you can see that there's no great leaps. There's a leap of about a third there, but it's not actually a huge leap at any point. They're all quite close to each other. Um, so let's have a listen to the melody at this point. Very close together so far. very small leaps. Now we can see coming up here that we've got a very big leap here going from a D to a B flat. It's a much bigger leap than we've had before. So let's have a listen to that. And this last part here is very interesting, which is why we've got it in green. We've got a leap of an octave, so that's one eight eight here. So a full octave leap, that's a very disjunct melody. So let's have a listen to this one more time. We've got conjunct here, very close together. The biggest leaps that we've got really are thirds. So still very conjunct overall. Now we come to our disjunct pattern. And our loop of an octave now. So that's quite a good example there of using both conjunct and disjunct melodies. Generally speaking, conjunct melodies sound a little bit more pleasant to the ear but disjunct um, notes in a few places can actually make the melody much more interesting and much more ear-catching. You just probably wouldn't want to base your whole piece on a disjunct melody. So, to recap, our two words of the week are conjunct, when the notes of the melody are close together using next-door notes, and disjunct, when the notes of the melody are far apart and use leaping notes.